Welcome to Brazzaville. Independence Day to Congo. So, some of you may be confused. Like, wait, didn't you just do an Independence Day video a month and a half ago? Yes, you are correct. But there's two Congos. There is the Congo where I'm from, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and there's the one that we're celebrating today, the Republic of Congo. Better known as, or sometimes known as, Congo Brazzaville, Congo B. So today we're celebrating their 60th anniversary. Congo got their independence from the French. I consider people from Congo B my cousin. We have a shared history, we have a similar love of culture, shared language, shared struggles, and similar victories. I am so excited for the people of Congo Brazzaville on this momentous occasion. 60 years of independence. It was not easy. It wasn't just given to them. They fought for their rights and they are a young democracy. And I am so excited for the future of Congo Brazzaville. Now, some of you might know that we were there in February and we had a fantastic, fantastic time. Congo Brazzaville has amazing artisans, art gallery, and the famous Potopoto Art School. Here's some fun facts about Congo Brazzaville. Pointe Noire was the original capital. Brazzaville became the capital in November of 1958. And because of that, Brazzaville and Kinshasa are only six miles apart, so that makes them the closest capitals. Congo has beautiful landscapes, amazing people, we are cousins, so we compete with each other. We cheer each other on. We argue about silly things like which bells are better. Braza, Kinshasa, Braza, Mbashi. We usually win, but we understand each other and we're there for each other and we will continue to cheer each other on as our country grows and develops. So, I also want to take this time to talk to my American friends. Yes, we are celebrating six years of independence, but again, it's only 60 years. Our fathers, our uncles, our mothers, our aunts, our cousins fought really hard for our independence. It wasn't just given to us. We fought for it. We mobilized. So I want to take this moment to remind my American friends, although this country was established uh, in its current form long before both Congos. Nothing is guaranteed. Rights can be taken away. So I want to make sure that I implore you all to get involved, know about your local elections, fill out the census form, and most importantly, always, always vote. It's not a right that everybody has, it's a right that a lot of people have died and fought for, and I don't want you guys to take it for granted. So make sure you vote, and you vote for your interest. Okay, so enough about that. Back to my fellow Congolese. 
Sorry we can't be there, we can't travel, obviously, but if we were, we would be celebrating with you. I want to wish you all a fantastic Independence Day. Independence Day at home is so much fun. So enjoy the holiday, have fun, get dressed up. I don't know if you'll be doing parades this year, but whatever it is, spend time with your friends and family and remember the struggles and how hard it was to get this independence. And we look forward to the future. To Congo, cheers. <laughs>